All right, so the thing we're overlooking here in our nation is that uh, <laughs> cut. All right, this is just a test. I can hear myself snapping. Uh, I'm not getting it. All right, my issue with the audio is I couldn't hear the audio, right? But you see these right here? I wasn't wearing them, okay? There was one time when I had to reboot my computer and reload all kinds of drivers and finally decided I'd need to get a new computer for Father's Day because I couldn't hear the audio. And then I realized I wasn't wearing my headphones. <sighs> All right, so the bottom line is for this video is conflicts that we're experiencing right now where people are getting shot. Somebody goes ballistic and shoots a bunch of people. And that's not just in one nation. There's a lot of nations where it's happening, obviously. But it's a concern uh, by those people who don't want to be shot. It's also concerned by those people who want to shoot a bunch of people. Our trouble is it's we're in the middle of a fog of war. I don't know if you've heard the term fog of war, but it it pertains to uh, on a battlefield where people have to make split decisions and they don't really have all the facts. Um, they're almost in survival mode in some cases. You can have a battle plan, but once it begins, there's fog of war. So that's what we're experiencing. And I say that because our battles in life are not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. That comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12 in the Bible. And I, I kind of, I believe most of what the Bible has to say, although it's been sabotaged to a certain degree, and the doctrines that come out of it are bogus, because men seem to want to control even uh, things about the kingdom of God in Christianity. And there's only one kingdom of God, okay? There's not two. So people that are shooting those other people during the fog of war do so because they feel it's the righteous thing to do. And the people who um, are trying to defend themselves have a different belief in uh, Christianity, which um, genocide is going on right now with Christians over in the Middle East, but... They have a different point of view, and they're also misguided. And then you have the secular group of people who don't believe in God at all. But the fact remains, there's only one kingdom of God. And so anybody who believes in a God are appealing to a higher being to solve these problems. And the fog of war takes over because we have a civil war going on. The Civil War is between loyal angels to the Kingdom of God and rebelling angels of the Kingdom of God. And the proxy war is taking place on Earth, where we live. So we're kind of like, we all have post-traumatic stress syndrome from war. And we're shooting each other. That's why I say that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. And we just don't see it. We're shooting at each other. That's a serious problem. So I had a vision, and to give you a really quick rundown on it, is that everybody is saved. What? That's a Christian belief that you're only saved if you repent and you say that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and He came down in the flesh and died for our sins. But they put in a condition. You have to say it before you die. And I, I haven't found in the Bible where you have to say it before you die. I only found in the Bible that you have to say it. And the reason I only found that is because I had to research visions that I have to see whether my visions are bogus or not. 
uh, it happens a lot and I have fun doing it but um, the vision is me with a I would call it an AR-15 and um, an Arab guy or someone from the Middle East an Islamic person who had a similar rifle probably AK-47 and we had them aimed at each other like this uh, and both of us were good shots and we're both going to die if someone pulls the trigger first or whatever but anyways that was the standoff in this vision and then there was music that started playing it was it was I just describe it as um, heavenly music you know I know that's probably uh, cliche but it's it was music that was not from this world and it was surrounded the entire sky and it was kind of quiet so we weren't distracted him and I from aiming at each other but then it got louder and louder and louder and louder and it filled the entire sky and both of us you could I could see in his eyes and he could see in mine we we really wanted to see what was going on but we didn't trust each other but we kind of both lowered our weapons at the same time and then we paid attention to what was going on in the sky and it was the second coming by Christian terms it's the second coming of Jesus Christ that I saw I don't know what Muslims believe but that's what I believe but at any rate that's what I saw a God coming down it with royalty it was definitely royalty I mean he was surrounded by tons and tons and tons of angels it was almost like a, a horseshoe in the sky coming down but what really mattered was that guy with a gun and me with a gun we both realized that this what was going on in the sky was bigger than either one of us um, and the funny thing is neither one of us were destroyed okay he didn't die and I didn't die because of God coming down from the sky and so like first Peter 3 chapter 10 I think uh, it is or chapter 3 verse 10 says that the, that wickedness is destroyed with the brightness of his coming. The elements are burned up, okay? Elements being burned up. I, I want to show you in the Strong's real quick, the Strong's Concordance, the definition of that word elements. What what I've been taught, it refers to when, when God comes back to the earth, the earth is just, it's just like obliterated. The elements are destroyed with the brightness of his coming. And therefore, the only thing left remaining are a few Christians. Everybody else is like burned up. Um, but if you look up that word element, it's, I can't know if I can pronounce it in Greek or whatever, it's Stoician. And listen to the description of it. Properly fundamentals like with the basic components of philosophy, structure, first principles, like the basic fundamentals of Christianity. That's not the elements I was taught, like trees and rocks and lakes and animals and people are all burned up. That's not what the definition is from a Strong's Concordance. Uh, spiritual powers, cosmic spirits, that's what elements means. So if those are the elements that are being destroyed, it, it complements the vision that I had, which is people weren't destroyed. Wickedness is destroyed with the brightness of his coming. That's cosmic powers, that's religious training and thoughts that we have, and spiritual powers cosmic spirits those kinds of things is what's destroyed and it definitely was in his mind and mine my mind neither one of us were interested in shooting each other anymore we were more interested in what was happening in the sky okay so that's really the first principle that I have about the fog of war the fact that we're shooting each other like this is that there's no reason to shoot another man so that you can go to paradise and there's no reason to condemn other people because they're not like you because they're gonna go to hell Segway hell hell is just for evil man hell is not for people nobody is gonna go to hell not you not me not the guy that was shooting at me not me shooting at him not even Hitler is gonna go to hell the only thing going to hell is wickedness okay because every single human being that ever lived on this earth was allowed to live by a God who is a God of love and he's the perfect God so if there's a civil war going on between loyal angels and rebellion angels and a proxy war on earth and God is perfect there's not gonna be any collateral damage there's not gonna be oh dang it I was only able to save half the human race that's that's not a perfect God 
And if he says, oh, whatever, they're, uh, we'll just dump them. They're rejects. That's not a God of love. So to me, it's like I had a vision there too, okay? And, and I go in and dive into the Bible or wherever I go. I mean, you find truth everywhere. You find truth from atheists and, and Muslims and Christians and Buddhists. Truth is everywhere. In fact, where I found this thing about elements came from a guy that just, I can't even watch the guy on television. He's on all the time. I call him Jabberjaw. That's what he calls everybody else. But he's the one that pointed this out about uh, what the word elements means. And so, I mean, I'll take truth wherever I can find it, especially when I'm trying to validate visions that I've had. Um, and uh, so the last point that I want to make is um, that forgiveness doesn't have a deadline. There is no deadline. Okay? And forgiveness is the most um, misinterpreted, uh, misunderstood principle about the kingdom of God. It's all about forgiveness. It's like, how about the guy that beat me up and stole my girlfriend when I was in the 11th grade and I, I couldn't stand him and because of it I, I dropped out of high school and I got into drugs and, and it's all because of that one guy who did that thing and I just, I can't forgive him. Okay? And then I, I get converted to Christianity and I'm all happy and I'm going to be saved and so forth. And this guy gets hit by a car and dies before he has a chance to repent even, you know? And I, I never forgave him. Why should I forgive him? He's going to hell, right? You know, I, I have to have the opportunity for him to tell me, hey, I'm sorry I did all those things. He's asking me for forgiveness, okay? And then I, I, have, to, I have to accept that forgiveness. And when I do so, that man is healed. And I'm healed also. If I go to heaven without ever forgiving this guy, and it, it, it's, it's an incomplete thing. You want closure. It's like we talk about justice in the United States. You know, well, this person came uh, and robbed me, and I want justice. Well, what is justice? Is justice where he gives you back your stuff, or is justice where he goes to jail for 20 years? Um, how is that? That's not really justice. That's vengeance or revenge. Justice is when it no longer hurts you. If a woman gets raped by another man, he violates her in such a way that she's probably going to be tormented by that for her whole entire life on earth. And then when she gets to heaven, what's going to happen? Is God going to wipe that memory out of her? She just, I don't remember getting raped. Was I raped a long time ago? I, I don't remember that happening. That's why forgiveness has no deadline because there's nothing in the Bible that says when you have to be in that loop of forgiveness. You you can that's that's you could be you could forgive other people after this is all said and done and the war is over. In fact, that's when you really really forgiveness takes place. How am I going to forgive Adam if Adam's not there? Or when I arrive, am I going to just be all happy and I don't care that that Adam was responsible for the death of billions of humans? You know, instigating uh, the proxy war on Earth was through Adam. How can I forgive them or? Do I just accept the fact, oh, well, let's just move on. No, you know, there's got to be forgiveness. So every single soul has to forgive. And I can't forgive Adam until I can talk to Adam. And, and Adam has to ask me to forgive him. He can't do that unless he's there. Neither can Hitler, for that matter. The one who slaughtered a million Jews or however many. I mean, those people, they have to, they have, to have an apology from, Ad, from Hitler. And, and they have to accept that apology and forgive him. Then they're healed. And he's healed. We, it's kind of a hard one to, to grasp. And a lot of people reject it. And this video is not long enough for me to tell you the other vision that I had about forgiveness. In, in short, in a nutshell, it's like a giant aquarium. Like what Houdini was in when he was hanging upside down. And he had to break out of that big tank, a water tank. It was like that translucent, sort of a... A bluish haze around it and I was on the inside and uh, I looked like a demon and my mother was on the outside and she was swiping the glass like this but what was happening is I was forgiving her of things that happened in my life that I never had a chance to forgive her of she was asking for forgiveness by swiping there's a whole lot more to that vision but I mean <clears throat> that happened after I died man okay so to conclude this video, I just want to say that 
you have one guy going out and shooting a whole bunch of people because he believes he's going to go to paradise. Is is he's going to go to paradise? So get over it. And the kingdom of God contains one Almighty God, whoever that we identify him as. There's only one, and our battle is not against each other. Our battle is against principalities and powers and high places, which is evil angels. So we, the human race, need to get it together and stop shooting each other, okay? All right, this is just a test. I can hear myself snapping. Uh, I'm not getting it. 